Welcome to Easy Maths. In this lesson, we're going to look at examples that have to do with the partial variation. And so before us is the first one. We're told a quantity y is partly constant and partly varies inversely. That's x squared. When y is 7, x is 10. When y is 5 and a half, x is 20. Uh, write the equation connecting y and x and hence the value of um, x when, so the value of y when x is 18. So we are going to begin first of all with the general equation and the general equation simply is going to be y is equal to k plus l all over x squared. And the reason for this is because we told the quantity y is partly constant. We just have constant and meaning plus another term varies partly inversely as x squared. And so we have inversely meaning x squared is a denominator in a fraction where the numerator will be the other constant L. No wonder this is a general equation. We're given the values of x and y, and so we have when x is uh, 10, y was 7, and x is 20 when y is 11 over 2. 11 over 2 is the same as 5 and a half. And therefore, we have two simultaneous equations which can be obtained from these sets of x and y values. And I have the first one here. We have y, you put it to be 7 here, we have 7 here, and 10 squared, that's the value of x in this particular case, 10 for x, putting it here, you get this kind of a thing, which simplifies to this particular equation. 7 is equals k plus L of 100. And the other is the other equation, you're going to have to put the value of y to be 11 over 2. I put it there, putting it over here. And then 20 squared for x squared, because x is 20. So I have it that way. That simplifies to 11 over 2 is equal to k plus L over 400, which is the second equation. And therefore, as we solve that, we're going to subtract equation 2 from equation 1 to eliminate the k, where I'm going to get 3 over 2 is equal to 3L all over 400. And if you can simplify that, L will be simply 200. Moving on to replace the value of L in number 1, L is 200, so replacing it in equation 1, we're going to have this kind of thing. 7 is equal to k plus 200, which is our L, all over 100, and therefore k will be 5. We were told to write the general equation connecting y and x. That general equation, therefore, will have this equation we wrote here, only that we're going to replace k and l with the values we've obtained, 200 for l and 5 for k. And this, this is the general equation that we need to have. Hence, find the value of y when x is 18. You just need to replace the value of x in this general equation. So replacing that, you're going to simplify and get the value of y to be 5.617. Moving on to another example, very much identical to that. The question is, y varies partly as the inverse of x and partly as x when x is 1, y is 1. When x is 4, y is negative 11. Determine the equation connecting x and y and the value of y when x is 2. Very identical. So we move with speed because the processes are the same as we've done in the previous case. First of all, the general equation. Y varies partly as the inverse. That means X is a denominator. And above it, we have a numerator. And partly as X, so we just have LX. So the general equation will simply be this one. K over X plus L over plus LX. Again, we have two values of X and Y, which are these ones here. When X is 1, Y is 1. When X is 4, Y is negative 11. So replacing them, we're going to obtain two equations. So the simultaneous equations are going to appear like this. We're going to have 1 is equal to k over 1 plus l in brackets 1, which simplifies to 1 is equal to k plus 1. Another one, when we have y is negative 11 when x is 4, so replacing it, we're going to have negative 11 is equal to k over 4 plus l in brackets 4. That simplifies to minus 11 is equal to k over 4 plus 4l. I want to, see, to, to work out that question in a way that I'll be able to... Um, get a value of k over l, and therefore I'm going to eliminate l. I'm going to eliminate l by multiplying the first equation with 4, so that I have the l's having the same coefficients of 4. And so this is what we have here. This is the first equation, only that it has been multiplied by 4. And this is the second equation as it was. Just subtracting that, you're going to get 4 minus negative 11 is 15. And 4L minus 4L goes away. That's why we're eliminating L anyway. So we have 4K minus L over 4, which is 15K all over 4. Simplify that, you're going to get the value of K to be 4. Now, the value of L can be simplified, can be obtained if we solve 
by replacing the value of k in any of the equations. Let's replace in the first equation. k is 4, put it here in this equation here. We're going to have 1 is equal to 4 plus l. And therefore, l is negative 3. Now, the equation, therefore, that connects x and y is simply this one here. y is equal to 4 over x minus 3x. This equation, please notice, is the same as this equation. Only that k has been replaced by 4, like that, and l has been replaced by negative 3, like that. This is the general equation connecting x and y. The last part, we told find y when x is 2, so we just need to replace the value of x to be 2 in this equation. And so, um, putting x to be 2, we're going to have 4 over 2 minus 3 in brackets 2, which is 2 minus 6, and gives us the value as negative 4. And that is the answer that is desired in that particular question. Now, check out for the next video, which has to do with joint variation, as we want to contrast what's the difference between partial variation and, and joint variation. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll appreciate it. Thank you.